Very close too. Yeah. Alright. 200. Impact. Neutralized. Alright. 250. Impact. Neutralized. 300. Oh. Impact. Neutralized. Okay, 350. Impact. Neutralized. 400. Impact. Neutralized. 450. Mm. We got no splashes. Nothing, no splashes. All right, I'll do 450 and I'll do a six o'clock hold instead. Okay. But that right edge. Right leg. Still? This is pretty rough with the iron sights. I thought I was doing well all until you, this point. You hit 400 with two shots. Yeah. What the heck happened? I mean, we, we sort of saw something like this with the ACOG, we right? Did. But we could, you, you were able to see it a little mm -hmm. bit better too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, we've still got 10 rounds left. Yeah. Impact. Impact neutralized. Okay. So what? What was the? What it was, was the barely, hole? Barely. So I, I barely. So essentially, when the, if the target was right here, I was barely walking it up, and as it just went over the target, that's where I held and pulled the trigger. Gotcha. And that was on the 400 meters hmm. sides. Got it. All so, right. 450 meters to, should correspond well to 500 okay. yards. Onto the gong. I'm probably not going to be able to call off splashes because of how muddy it is right, out there. Right, I get it, I get it. I've got... We'll try. I've got six rounds left. Okay. What do you think? Over, under? I'm 25%. You can do it 75, you can't. We'll see. Okay, let's see. 500. Fire one ready. Go. 
Impact. Impact. Yes! Yes! How many rounds left? <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Just as you intended. Indeed, yes, indeed. Things were going really, really, really well mm -hmm. until 450. And then you probably had, what, 12, 12 15 yeah. misses on 450. So 450 yards is roughly about 400 meters. Yeah. And so initially I was thinking, okay, if it's roughly 400 meters, but a little bit on the low side, maybe what I'll do, I'll put it at 450 and aim it at, at the low yeah. end of the target. Yeah. That didn't work out too well. Yeah. And then I decided, no, I'll just do it, put it back to 400 and then I'll walk it back in. And I mean, luckily I had a spotter to, to work with me, but if you're talking about purely shooting targets, I agree. The M4 is not nearly as good at, as the M16 as shooting at targets at extended ranges. However, I think there's a lot more that goes into what a soldier uses a weapon for. You can see, uh, with iron sights or ACOGs, these things hit well past 300 meters. No distances nowadays are well under 300. Mm. Uh, some, sometimes in Afghanistan it would be farther. I know the Marines preferred their A4s because of that. Yeah. Uh, that being said, a lot of modern warfare we fight from armored vehicles. So maneuvering in and out of a vehicle, if you snagged maneuvering out of a vehicle, that could mean that you got shot. Yeah. So there's a little bit different of considerations that, that we place onto combat nowadays as opposed to the Cold War era of open field engagement, thinking that we're going to have skirmishes with the Russians, foot infantry. The ideal combination is what we call the musket. <laughs> no, this is a nickname with the musket. So literally, so if you're talking about using an iron sight rifle, I think this is a good combination. Yeah. However, if I were to say, let's bring a, a weapon system into the modern battlefield, I would say the M4 with an ACOG is actually one of the better compromises. And in my opinion, that's in what I think is why you see a lot of troops carrying those things yeah, if, if, they, if they have the yeah. ACOG. Yeah. Because it, it's a good balance between maneuverability, vehicle operations, dismounted operations. And still being able to reach out a little Indeed. bit. Indeed, yeah. yes. Nice. Yeah. Good run. Yeah. Seven one six is Joe Knight six four Vic eight packs red con one green to green top copy over. Joe Knight six this is Seven One Six.